Breaking news out of Turkey. Turkey's interior minister says a terrorist attack killed four people and wounded over a dozen. The deadly attack targeted a state-owned defense firm called Turkish Aerospace Industries. This is on the outskirts of the capital there. Local media sources say people at the site heard what sounded like an explosion, then followed by gunfire. Reporters on the ground also suggested some employees were held hostage. We will continue to track the very latest on this developing story. Now to a development in the war in Ukraine. The U.S. State Department says there are signs that North Korean troops are in Russia. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin confirmed it earlier today. What exactly they're doing uh, left to be seen. These are things that we need to sort out. We'll have more for you on that on that later. But yeah, that you know, as we continue to look at this, there is uh, there is evidence that uh, there are DPRK troops, uh, you know, in Russia. And South Korean lawmakers say North Korea has already sent 3,000 troops to Russia, and thousands more could be on the way. The two support the Kremlin's war in Ukraine. CBS News senior national security correspondent Charlie Daggett reports for us from the Pentagon. This is something we reported a couple of days ago when the South Koreans first raised the alarm and gave what they said was evidence of North Korean commandos headed to Russia on the way to fight in Ukraine. They actually show videos inside Russia, which I think we have verified. It's the first time a U.S. official confirmed that. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin currently in Rome saying briefly, we are now seeing evidence that there are North Korean troops in Russia. Exactly what they're doing there is left to be seen. He said if they're about to become co-belligerents, his words, uh, it's an indication Putin may be in even more trouble than most people realize. What the South Koreans think they're doing there is getting trained to fight on the front lines against Ukrainian forces. And they're now threatening to supply Ukraine with weapons. Uh, defense sources that I've spoken to here says as far as what impact those North Korean forces will have on the battlefield will really depend on how well trained they are, how well equipped they are, whether they're to be used as elite commandos or just to sort of flush out the numbers. In terms of those numbers, uh, South Korean intelligence said the first group is around 3,000. That was just updated this morning. But the Ukrainians uh, have been following closely, too. And President Zelensky said the number could come up to more than 10,000. Uh, there have been some North Koreans. These are unconfirmed reports of North Korean groups that have been manning sort of missile systems in eastern Ukraine and around Donetsk. Uh, the North Koreans have been supplying Russia with artillery for months. The big picture is more worrying. The U.S. and South Korea are concerned that in return, Russia may provide North Korea with nuclear and advanced ballistic missile technology. Uh, North Korea will not comment on the alleged deployment. Russia calls it another fabrication. Back to you.